Hello friends, welcome back. This is Rachel here, also known as Clean Beauty Curls. This video is sponsored by Bell Bar Organic, and right now I'm using their infamous rice water mask. Many of you have likely seen this mask before. Um, you can add it to a deep conditioner, which is what I did today. You can add it to a deep conditioner, or you can take uh, the same measurement, two and a half teaspoons, mix it with water, and add fresh ingredients. This deep conditioning mask is wonderful to help with shine and strength. And so uh, that's why I use it. And rice water is something that's been used for many, many years, particularly in Asian communities, to help women grow their hair super, super long. And so today, I've already you know, worked it into my hair, but I haven't detangled and worked it through. So I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about my routine, how frequently I use this rice water mask, and how I incorporate it into my wellness routine. Um, so, you know, for me, uh, hair care is a part of wellness. It's a part of my self-care. Um, when I take care of my hair, I am taking care of myself. And it's just, it's one way that I take care of myself. And right now, more than ever, it's incredibly, incredibly important that we all take care of ourselves. And so I encourage you to, you know, to find time um, to take care of yourself. And that may mean spending more time on your hair than you, than you ordinarily do. Or it may mean, you know, investing in a deep conditioner mask from Bell Bar Organic to just give you the boost of wonderful ingredients to help you um, get your hair to grow um, and to be strong as well. And so for me, you know, hair care is a part of uh, self-care. And we all just really need self-care right now. Um, and so, usually I wash my hair twice a week, uh, typically on Saturday, where I can kind of take more time, and then a day uh, during the week as well. And so right now, I'm just trying to work the product through my hair. Um, and you know, sometimes there's some shed hair because we lose 100 hairs a day. And as naturals, uh, more, most of us don't wash our hair every day and we have our hair in twists or we have it in braids or a twist out braid out or a wash and go. And so when we detangle, whether it's with a brush or when we finger detangle, um, we get some shed hair. So that's what I'm kind of, you know, getting off of my hair. I typically like to start working my deep conditioner in, um, working from back to front, but the front of my hair dries so quickly. Today I kind of decided to do the opposite where I really wanted to focus on the front of the hair um, while it's still wet. And so right now I'm just trying to make sure that every strand is coated. I fingered it tangled um, uh, my hair and twisted it and then I'm going to put it away. So this is sort of my uh, you know, deep conditioning routine. I take my time, I sit in the chair, I have some water um, so that I can make it you know, as enjoyable of an experience as possible. I know for many of us, you know, growing up you know, there can be like a negative association with wash day, like, oh, I gotta wash my hair today. You know, like it's such a production and I get it. And I feel like that sometimes too, um, but I do whatever I can to try to make it an enjoyable experience. And so sometimes I'm, I, one, I always have a chair. I'm sitting down um, because it's a lot of work and it takes time and I don't want my back to hurt. Um, but two, sometimes I'm listening to a podcast, sometimes I'm listening to music, maybe I'm listening to a sermon from church. Um, I may be on the phone with a friend sometimes. I know, uh, I think it was earlier this week, I, I called my aunt and we were talking about uh, Insecure, you know, what we think is gonna happen uh, while I was applying my deep conditioner like this. So I encourage you to try to, try to make wash day um, as enjoyable as you can. And uh, those of you with children, I, I don't have children, um, but it's something I think about you know, when, when I do. Um, remember that your kids are watching, right? And, and they're watching you and they're watching you know, how you feel about your hair and how you treat your hair. And uh, so we, we don't want it to seem like, oh, this burdensome task. We wanna be like, hey, this is a great time for us to take care of our hair, to take care of ourselves, to feel beautiful. Um, and yeah, so that, that's what I try to do. I try to say, this is my time to take care of me, right? We spend all week taking care of other people, trying to you know, put out fires at work, all that. This is just a wonderful time to take care of ourselves. Um, but I wanna talk about you know, other ways that we can take care of ourselves during this time because it's a hectic time, it's a chaotic time, it's a traumatic time for many of us, especially black folks, right? It's, 
it's traumatic to see George Floyd, um, you know, with an officer's uh, knee on his neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds. Um, that's traumatic. Every time you see that video, every time you read about it, every time you hear people talking about it, when you see nonsense on your Facebook timeline, you know, that's traumatic. And so it's important that we take care of ourselves during this time. And so for me, hair is a part of that. As silly as it may sound, it's a part of my wellness routine. It's a part of my self-care. Um, and so I, I kind of want to talk to you about, well, what are the other parts of my wellness routine? Um, and so one is, it's something that I'm trying to do consistently, is I'm really trying to be mindful of how I start my day. Because I think how you start to, your day really sets the tone for the rest of the day. And um, so what I've been trying to do recently is I'm trying to get up a little earlier and you know make time uh, for like worship and my faith. Um, and so I get up, I, I walk the dog for you know anywhere between 20 minutes to 45 minutes in the morning and I'm listening to praise and worship music or sometimes I'm listening to a sermon and really just trying to get my mind right for the work day. And during that time, I, you know, that's my time, I feel, to really uh, connect with God. And I find that when I take that time, um, I'm working on every day. I, I'm not, I haven't done it every day, but when I take that time, uh, most days, uh, my day goes better than it usually does. So one part of wellness for me is faith and really making sure I take time um, to acknowledge my faith, unpack my feelings, um, pray, uh, worship, and uh, that's something that has been really helpful to me during this time. Um, another aspect of wellness for me ha is fitness and nutrition. So many of you know, ooh, shed hair, yikes. <laughs> many of you know that I, uh, you know, play basketball in college, I play three sports in high school, and so being active, it's just, I feel like it's a part of my DNA. You know, my dad still wakes up every morning and uh, he gets on the elliptical for, you know, close to two hours. Um, and he, he always did that. Uh, he would go into his office at like 6 a.m. Can't do that now due to COVID. Um, so they have an elliptical at home and he gets on it for two hours every day, Monday through Friday. And so that was, it was modeled for me. Like, this is just what we do. Um, and so fitness has been really important for me and taking care of myself. Now, I have... Uh, had some injuries <laughs> you know I had knee surgery I had two hip surgeries and so I can't do a lot of the things that I've loved for so many years you know I can't really play basketball although someone talks a sufficient amount of trash I will go out there um, but I can't really run unless I'm being chased that's what I tell people but for me you know fitness wellness involves yoga um, bar Pilates cycling sometimes walking which i used to always like laugh at, at walking i was always like mm. but when you walk out in that heat for you know 45 minutes an hour 70 minutes you will sweat and you will burn a good number of calories particularly if there's an incline and all that so i've been walking a lot um you know in my neighborhood as a form of fitness too so th those are some of the ways from a, a fitness standpoint that i take care of myself um because if I don't do that, I'm not my best self. Um, sometimes I remember, it's been a long time since this happened, but uh, you know, if I was kind of cranky, my husband would be like, do you need to go do some yoga? <laughs> and the answer was usually yes. <laughs> so yoga for me, I, I strongly encourage you to try it if you haven't tried it. Um, there's so many different kinds of yoga. There's so many wonderful teachers out there. There's so many free and, and discounted resources out there. Um, that you can use um, for it to be, you know, a wonderful workout if that's something that you're seeking or, you know, a real like meditative practice. Um, but yoga has been really helpful for me and so I try to do that and Pilates and all that jazz. Um, nutrition. You know, you've all, we've all heard the phrase, you are what you eat. <laughs> and um, I realize that, you know, food really, it does fuel you. And so I try, I'm not perfect, I gotta work on it. Um, but I try to be mindful of the things that I that I eat and and what my body responds well to and so I try to to eat the right things if I can at least you know 70% of the time <laughs> and so I like to have lots of uh, fruits and vegetables I love berries is anybody else craving berries right now I just I've been craving strawberries and blueberries and so um, 
I try to I try to eat those and um, I try to make my plate as, as colorful as possible um, lots of you know nutritionists and dietitians will recommend that so I try to be mindful of what I eat am I perfect no do I like pizza yes do I like fried chicken yes um, but I try to make good choices most of the time uh, because I find that um, you need the, the good food to, to energize you and to fuel you right if after you eat you just want to go take a nap ie the itis that ain't good <laughs> and that's not good especially if it's a work day and you have other things you need to do and so do I have cheat days absolutely um, dinner today will be a cheat day um, but I try to generally make good food choices so there's faith there's fitness there's nutrition um, you know there's hair as I mentioned like I try to take my time on my hair I like it's not just about you know what I'm using in my hair, but I like researching different products and ingredients and learning more about, oh, maybe I should add that to my deep conditioner, you know? Um, case in point, I know that peppermint oil can really help stimulate hair growth, and so I added a little bit of that to my deep conditioner today. So, you know, taking my time with my hair, taking care of my hair is a form of wellness um, for me. Also, um, staying connected to people. So. You know, during COVID, um, we have been disconnected from people, right? We haven't been able to um, go out and do the things we usually would do. Movie theaters are closed. Some restaurants are closed. Um, some places have had uh, different restrictions on where you can go and all of that jazz. And so I've tried to stay connected to people. Um, and social media is a way to do that. Um, but that hasn't really provided me with what I would say I view as like true connection. Um, and so I find that FaceTime has been really helpful for me. So I taught my parents how to FaceTime. Praise God. Because it took a lot. <laughs> yeah, but I taught them how to FaceTime. So here's the thing. They know how to FaceTime now, but they don't know how to angle the camera so that I can see them. So instead, when they call me, like I can see the ceiling, I can see the chandelier. It, it's just a mess, you know, but, but we're all works in progress. We all fall short. Um, but FaceTiming has been really helpful because it's one thing to hear someone's voice, it's quite another to see them, so you can really see how they're doing. Um, and so I've been FaceTiming with my parents pretty frequently, and my best friend has been uh, not FaceTiming me, but using, you know, the same feature in WhatsApp. Um, we've been doing that, you know, at least once a week, if not twice a week. And it's, it's been helpful to be, you know, connected to people on the outside. Um, and so I think, you know, human connection, safe human connection, right? Because of COVID <laughs> is helpful. And I've, I've been using technology to try to make that happen. So those are, those are some of the ways that I've been sort of maintaining my, my, uh, wellness. Um, but it's hard, it's hard. And, and, um, and every day is different. Um, something else that I've had to do to maintain my wellness is really be mindful of what I take in. So I'm a lot more mindful of like what I'm watching on TV. Um, I was watching the news. I was glued to the news um, for a while. Then my mom just said, Rachel, you've got to take a break. And so I have, and, and I felt guilty about it at first, you know, like, oh, am I is this willful blindness? Am I just putting my head in the sand? Um, but I realized that in order for me to be the best me that I could be, you know, to, to everyone in my life and to not, you know, be miserable, um, I, I had to limit uh, what, I was, what I was watching. And so I've, I've been trying to limit, you know, my time when I, you know, watch the news or read articles about current events um, because it is traumatic. It is. And, you know... I try to just be mindful of what I'm watching, what I'm reading. Um, and then the other piece that's been a part of my wellness routine, whew, guys, deep conditioner, it can, it can be messy. Um, the other part is, you know, figuring out how I can contribute and how I can help. So I know so many of us all want to do something. And some of you are out physically protesting, which is wonderful. Um, some of you are involved in, you know, different organizations like Black Lives Matter or the NAACP, and so you're, you're kind of advocating in those ways. Um, for me, you know, both my, uh, my mother, you know, my, my parents are older, and so I have to be, you know, careful. And my husband um, has some health issues. He's fine, <laughs> but he has some health issues, and so I just, I have to be more careful than usual. So I haven't really left the house except to walk the dog and to pick up a prescription once. So, you know, protesting and, and being out in the community isn't really an option for me right now. 
but I still want to do something. And I know there are others of you who may be in that situation too. And so I've been doing different things. I've been ordering books that I really want to read so that I can become, you know, more informed. I have been signing different petitions. Um, you know, there are all these different online sites with a list of things that you can do. I've been you know, making a list of podcasts that I want to listen to, books that I want to read, um, so that I can become more informed, so that I can learn, and when I can contribute by signing a petition and sharing that petition with other people, I definitely try to do that because that's a part of my wellness too. I want to be a part of change and I want to be a part of the movement, and so you know, I'm finding my way to to do that. Um, and so that's. That's it, as you can see, I'm done. I applied all the product. I decided not to use my brush. Um, I do have a detangling brush that I like, but as I was putting a product through my hair, I realized I didn't even think that I needed it. Um, so I applied the product all over and I'm gonna let this sit for a little while. Um, with this, Belba Organic as a general matter, they say, you know, you can leave uh, and your hair for up to one hour. Um, so that's, I'll definitely probably do at least an hour. Sometimes I let it sit a little bit longer. And then they recommend that you co-wash the product out because um, the little kind of granules and that rice water paste uh, won't necessarily come out if you just rinse it out of your hair. So I'm gonna let this sit for an hour, I'm gonna co-wash it out, and then I'm gonna proceed with my styling routine. So I just wanna say thanks so much to Belva Organic for this opportunity. Thank you for creating your brand. Thank you for this wonderful rice water mask. Um, I know it has helped me so much. I've been using this for a while now. This, well before I won this mini kit. Um, I've been using the rice water mask, I think almost, you know, as soon as it came out. And so I just love Bell Bar Organic. Love this rice water mask. Love that you guys have clean, safe products and ingredients um, to help us, you know, grow, moisturize, and strengthen our hair. I also love that it's black owned. Um, so thanks to all of you for sitting with me while I apply my deep conditioner. I hope that some of the information was helpful. Um, feel free to uh, let me know, reach out to me, DM me if you have any questions, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.